Good day everyone. My name is Graphics. Today I want to solve a problem involving link mechanism where we are told to draw the locus of P of the diagram that is displayed at the right hand side of the screen. And the question that supports this diagram says the rod OA rotates anticlockwise at constant speed about O through 180 degree. During this movement, the point P moves from P to P1 and back to P at constant speed. Draw the locus of P during the complete movement of OA. Right? Now, the first thing you do is for you to draw out the question, the diagram you can see at the right hand side of the screen. That is the first thing you should do. So let's do that and see. I'll pick a point. Let's say this is my point here. I'll call that point, point O. Right? And on that point, I'll draw a line in this manner. Let's draw a line in this manner. Right? And from this point here, we'll measure from O to P is 20. And from O to P1 is what? 76. So 20 plus 76 here is given to be what? 96. So I'm going to measure 96 from this point. So this is 96 here. Right? To this point here is 96. Can you see that? This point here is my P1. P what? P1. And I will take in it from here straight down to this point. Can you see that? So this is where I'm stopping here. This is what? P1. And here is what is A. So from A, O to P1 here is 76. And from O to P is given to the what? 20. So I'm going to measure 20 from this point. From 0 to 20 to 2 is 20. Right? So this is 20 here. And this is what? My point P. Right? So this is what the question is telling us. From here to here is 20. From here to here is 76. And from here to P is what? 96. And OA, right? This long line you're seeing here is the rod. And this rod is meant to move at an angle of what? 120, 180 degree. So we want to look for the locus of what? P. Is that okay now? So what you are going to do is you are going to divide P to P1, right? Into eight equal parts. You can do more if you want to. So from P to P1, you divide into what? Eight equal parts. Is that okay? Because what the question is telling us is that as this rod is rotating, P is changing position. As the rod is rotating, P is what? Changing position. Point O is fixed. So point O is meant to face, to go in a circular manner. And the question says it's going anticlockwise. So it's moving in this direction. So what I'll do here, first of all, is we're told it is moving at an angle of what? 180 degree. So we know that from this point here from point p right it moves in this manner at an angle of what 180 degree i use faint line we know that angle in a straight line is what is 180 so taking and i should be able to divide that angle into what into eight right so dividing into eight i will use my 45 degree c square i'll divide into four right so from here i'll draw a line this is 45 degree here also is another 45 degree here also is another word, 45 degree. You can see that? And since I divided into 4, 
meaning I'm dividing everything into what? Into 8, right? If it's a complete circle, it's into 8. That means I'll divide from P to P1 into what? Into 8. So I'm going to use my line division method. I'll draw from here, draw a line this way, in this manner. Right? And I'm going to mark 8 on that line. In this way, at any given radius, I'll place it this way. From P, this is 1, this is 2, this is 3, this is 4, this is 5, and 6, 7, and 8. Right? If you can't do that, you can just use your instrument here, starting from go to 8 here. Right? And here you want to do it. So these are the points I'm marking here. Way. So using your line division method, you just join this point. Use your instrument, join from here to P. You can see that, and I'll move it this way. There's the point eight, and I'll take my meter rule and I'll put it here. So as this slides here, I'll go to the next point. As this slides here, I'll go to the next point. It should be faint line. As this slides here to the next point. As this slides here to the next point. As this slides here to the next point. And this also to the next point. Then back to this. Right? So this will give us what we have here. So here is P. This will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, then we have what? 8 here. And here will give us, this is 1, I'm sorry, this will be 1, 2, 3, and what? 4. So it means that at every point as P is moving, it changes position. So if I come from here, from this point to this point is P. The next one is what is 1. I'll come here and that will give us my P1. Right? That will be what? My P1 at this point. I'll go again to the next point again to 2. That will be from 2 here. I'll come here. That will be what? P2. This will be P2. I'll come again from here. I'll move to the next point at line 3. This will be what? P3. From here, I'll move to the next point. P4. At this point. We'll throw this along the 180 degree. Then we'll go to the next again from 0 to P5. Of my mark here also. This will be P5. We're going back again because see it moves from P1 back to P. Then from 0, I'll go to P6. I'll come here, I'll mark. This will be what? P6, then from the same point again to P7, I'll mark, this will be what, P7, then back to what, P8 here, is that again, which is P1 here, so this point here, I'm going to join, and that will be the locus of what, the locus of P, so if I take my French curve, I'll join them together from P here. I'll just join these points together. Just let me take this. Then we'll 
open this. Just take this. So this is the locus of what? Locus of P. So everything is going through 180 degree. <clears throat> As suggested by the question. The question says through 180 degree. It did not tell us 360, 360 degree. So everything is going what? Through what? 180 degree. I will know angle in the straight line is 180. So from here to here is 180. Right? So that's why everything is going through 80 degree. So I must not pass the 180 mark. That's why when I move from here, I can't go further. I have to start coming back again. So this is what we have here, and this is the locus of what of P. Right? So if you found this video helpful, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and also share the video. Thanks for watching.